I just got a video of my friend's uh, airsoft collection. He has a couple guns and some equipment, so we'll go through that. But before I start, um, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning and his parents are asleep, so we're going to try and be as quiet as we can, but still get loud enough audio for y'all to hear us. Alright, so first we'll start off with Sniper. Alright, um, this is a Sniper that I got. There's... I think it was Christmas, something like that. It's a spring action, 500 feet per second. I got a 22 BSA uh, sweet scope on it. I uh, lost the cover for that. What I did with this was I pulled it off and put just tape and spray paint over it, and it looks a little crappy, but from far distance, you really won't tell. Um, it's fairly heavy, and the, the bolt, you got to get used to it. It's a little... If you don't pull it all the way back, it won't fire a bullet, so you got to be careful with that. You'll be sitting there pulling it back, and you won't be shooting. Yeah, no, I no, I don't. I haven't been shot by this personally, so I don't know how bad it hurt, but I I had imagine it does sting for a little while. Yeah, this thing would yeah. suck. Um, the mag is very low profile. If you have gloves on, that that's gonna be a little hard to get to. It's that little itty hole you have to push in. Everything in it's full metal, even the mag's full metal. Yeah. It feels it's it's a pretty nice weighted gun, and then the stock is pretty cool too. Then we got this stock. This is a little annoying when you have like a vest on. Yeah. But you get used to it. It's nice rubber. You have sling mounts here and here, and it also came with a sling, which I will show you in a second. And it did not come with the mounts or anything. I didn't get the one with the adjustable stock to rest and everything else. Yeah. So everything's just stock. The grip is a little beefy, but my hands are they're, they're good enough. It has a th it has three safeties. One is the bolt. The bolt, if it's pulled up like this, the trigger cannot pull. This is also a safety. You pull it back, you can't pull. So you can't pull. And then it also has a trigger safety. If you pull the outside, it won't go down. If you pull the middle, it will go down. When it first comes, this whole top part, the railing and everything, will be disassembled. It just comes together with a screw here and also right there. It has all the tools you need and everything. That's pretty much it, guys. Yeah, that sniper. It's it's a hefty gun and it's pretty heavy. When you're when you're when you're like about to shoot it and because I've I've shot it, we shot it at a couple of trees. It's pretty fun to shoot. But, uh, so I guess we'll move on to the Glock. And one more thing about this thing. Um, it's, it's lubed up pretty good. You won't need to lube it. Yeah. And I would suggest changing out the barrel because the barrel's a little wobbly in the inside. All right, I guess we'll move on to the Glock. And right now it's in it's in a case, but we'll get that off real quick. This is a paddle case I got from uh, Academy. So, Not Academy, Bath, Bath Pro. Now there's the Glock, full metal Glock. Um, actually, the... Um, the mag is basically the heaviest thing. The mag is basically what is basically heaviest, like. It's a pretty hefty mag, and then you take the mag out, you're lifting up the gun, you're like, this is weightless right now. But, yeah, the mag basically holds everything together. Um, it's full auto, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, what this is, is this is a Glock 19 model. It's made by Glock, it has all the Glock. Trades look exactly the same as a real Glock. The cool thing about this thing is, it's, if you pull back here, there's a little switch. This is a little switch. If you pull it over, a little switch on the right side. Yeah, I got it. Well, if you pull it over to the side, like I just did, it's in full auto. Push it over, it's in semi. This is a blowback gun. And there's one other cool thing about this. If I disassemble it, hold on one second. If I disassemble like this. This gun actually comes with two barrels, and the barrels, one that I have in here already, which this needs to be lubed up a lot when it first comes, there's no lube or anything in it. This is the inside, this is the metal barrel, this is metal, it has Glock trades on the, on the side of it right there. Yeah, that one's metal, and then... And then it comes with a plastic one, the plastic one does come with an orange tip. And the metal one does not, but the orange tip, I fired like twice, and uh, the orange tip just flew off. So it doesn't last very long. The 
Plus, it does. I'll just keep the metal in there. If you keep the metal, you might want to lube it up a little bit because it's going to get stuck and the, the slide's not going to want to come. And so, when you put this barrel back in there, you just slide it in. Make sure everything fits right. And when it comes, did you have to recite it or was it already sighted? Um, the sights are pretty much like a regular Glock. They're already sighted in. You can, like, say if you have, like, okay, hold on one second, guys. Put this back together. Okay, the sights on this thing, they're plastic. Most people on real Glocks and things like that, they change them out with, uh, with full metal iron sights. And so, the sights, if, say, if you, if, the, if it's shooting a little sideways, you can slide this over. You can slide it, like, over there, I don't think you need that though. That's a little outrageous. But it, they do slide, and I would watch it when it slides because sometimes that that right there will cut you. That's cut me plenty of times before. Um, it's a nice gun. It has only one safety, which is the trigger, just like a Glock 19, which a Glock 19 actually has three internal safeties. But this one only has one on the on on it. But I'm pretty sure it's not going to go off. It's never went off on me. It's very unlikely. Alright. Now, hold on one, one second before we get to the big guns. Let's do a little bit of over equipment. Here. Yeah, a little yeah. bit of eye face. Alright. This. So, this is what I carry on my BBs in. You're carrying a little plastic case. All you're going to hear is rattling. This right here, when it's full, you don't hear a sound. So it's good for stealth. Like if you're, if I have a, I have a ghillie suit and I use my sniper. It's on the wall over there. I'll carry this thing around with me all the time, and I'll have it full of BBs. So if I do need to reload, I have this. I can just take it out and reload it without any sound. Another thing, I have a mesh mask. This thing right here, it's very comfortable. You can fit it to your face. It bends, it flexes, and it's got a cool little design on there. It wasn't that much. It was about, I think maybe ten dollars. Maybe. It's not bad. Yeah, and uh, I don't think a BB's going to go through there. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not. But yeah. it does It does flex, things like that, so it goes to your And face. with a helmet on, you should be all right, but... Yeah, but if I'm sniping, I don't want a helmet on because you can't really see through your scope, so I use safe faces. These are just like little safe face goggles kind of things. Yeah. And they're they're pretty good. No, Nothing's getting through that glass. Now... Now we can get to a little bit of big stuff, and then we'll go to the, the vest next. Alright. This thing, I, this is my first airsoft gun. This thing was a, a lot, pretty expensive. Um, This thing was about $400. Brand new. It did not, this is the sling that came on the, uh, the sniper. The sniper's still a little beefy. This came on my uh, brother's airsoft gun, it was the M27. Yeah. We might do a review on his too, but... His has got a big giant orange tip on it, which I traded out mine out for a suppressor. Which also is an amplifier if you take this end off of right here. It's, it's three-way unscrewed. So if I unscrewed that, it'd be an amplifier. Now, this one has the adjustable stock, right? Yeah, this one has a, a I think, six or seven-piece adjustable stock. It comes up pretty far. I don't know how far you need it. That's not... I don't think you're going to need that many. I keep it about maybe two or three. I am like five foot nine. Um, I got this right here off of my uh, bad crossbow, and it is it's pretty good. I mean, I mean I can't complain. The sights on it are pretty good. They're really really low profile, so if you have a mask on, there's no way you're seeing through them. The charging handle is right here. Okay, and the charging handle whenever you charge it. This is more for a lefty kind of person. When you charge it, that little slide pulls back. There's a little dial inside there. That's the hop up. If you can see that, that's the lighting's probably really bad. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, a little we, dial. We there. can see it standing here, but in the video, you probably here, can't see, see it. it. See that? Yeah, that works. A little dial right there on the very end. Yeah, I can. I can see that. Yeah. Okay. And now, anything. Anyways. This has great, the rails, there's, there's one, two, three, four, there's four rails in there, I don't think you need any more, and whatever you're going to put on there. Now is this semi or full auto? This is semi, full auto, and then it's got safe, this is the gesture switch, it is on both sides, so it's on here, 
And the, the only thing I don't like about this is, well, I like it, but most lefties won't, is the mag releases on, on one side. So it's only on that one side. Um, these are, you have to crank these mags, just not to see it's on the other side. Yeah. The and mag is kind of loose, the though. The crank's on the bottom. Like most, like the AK-47 has the crank yeah. on the bottom. But I've put this thing through crap, and it's still holding up really, really great. And you went through, you went to a couple, um, uh, wars over at, oh, what was it? Red Fox. Yeah. We got some Red Fox stuff over there, but, I mean, it's a great gun. The stock does lock it folds, it does not fold. Um, the battery compartment is in the back right here in the stock. You pinch these two little pins and pull it out, but it hurts your fingers a whole, whole lot. Um, the only problem that I had with this gun when I first got it, there's these little things right here with the where the battery sits. I remember that. Those and they would soft. fall out repeatedly, and that's the only problem that they ever had with it. Yeah. And you really can't tell this from a pretty good little distance. I put electrical tape around through here and all the way around. Yeah, because they These had um, not at all now. They we were playing some airsoft and they had deep, they had long grass at the time, and one of those things fell off. No way we were finding it. Yeah, we had to buy new ones. Yeah, but anyways, now that that's pretty much covered. Um, you want to check the vest or the pants first? I do pants. I use these pants. These are ROTC pants. I got these like a a long time ago. It's got plenty of pockets and stuff that you need. They're great pants. I mean, free. Yeah, yeah those pants are going to hold up. I don't use knee pads. I'm not a little wuss. I, I can go with my knees hooked up a little bit. Yeah. Vest. Okay, first of all, I, I don't know how much this was. I think about, maybe, I don't know how much this was actually. Anyways, these things have pockets on the inside. Because this is like a real deal kind of vest, but it's not got like stuff in it. So these are this is a this is a uh, a workout kind of glove, but I use it for my airsoft. If you if you don't have that uh, full grip on this machine gun, that rail does not feel the greatest. Like your hand has gel up through here, and uh, just depends what what you need. To, there's no protection on top, which I don't really don't need. I keep it right here just so I don't lose it. They zip up. This side over here, I'll see this. There goes. Um, this side over here, I keep BBs and stuff in, just like extra BBs, just in case I ever do run out. I don't think I will though. Okay, now for I'm gonna do the right side first. What I do, th these is this is adjustable. You can either put a patch right there. Here, hold on, I'll show you. This right here is pretty cool. It just comes like this, where the, the shoulder's like really, really bulked out, where it won't fit nobody, like my size. So I have to put this thing all the way up here, like this, and it'll, it'll fit. It takes up that much. Like it, it, if you're smaller, you might want to do that. Okay. This is lube right here. I keep in one of the compartments for my pistol, because I just not... I didn't get that pistol too long ago. I mean, I don't... Yeah, you you got I it. I don't have many mags for it. I have like maybe one or two. Yeah, you got it like April. Yeah. Okay. This I keep my speed loader in. Um, I don't keep anything in this one. I keep a spare mag in there for my pistol. Pistol I can put here, or this is like Velcro, and you can strap it in on the other side. I can just put that either the paddle thing on the, the paddle what I have on it now, or I have another mag. I mean uh, another. Uh, yeah, that I have another one of those. Um, this thing has plenty of storage for your pistol ammo. It is there's a that's a uh, pistol ammo holder. I keep green gas from my my, my pistol in here. And yeah, by the way, that is a uh, gas pistol. Too, yeah, it's, too. it's gas. So I'll go over how to get gas in there later after this. Um, that that's that side. This side. I have one other mag for my machine gun, which goes in here. I have one in here now. Just it fits in there perfectly. You just gotta push that little velcro over. I need this thing of green gas in here. And all my tools are in this top pocket. All my tools I need for my guns if I need to adjust it. This right here, you can tear this off. It's got shotgun things on it. You can put a patch on there, or you can just leave the shotguns on there. It's whatever you want to do. Um, 
the back. I'm not sure if this is for grenades or what it's for, but these are little things right here. I, I, I suspect you could keep grenades or something in it. I don't know. It might be just for looks. But I don't know. It's got two little hooks right here to hang it up if you want to. Just hang it up. But yeah, um, it zips up plus it's a buckle. I mean, it's not going to come off the beef. Unless you're really small and you can just slide out of it. Okay, that's pretty much it for the vest. Now, if y'all want to see how to change out the gas in this pistol. By the way, uh, this is gas, spring, and electric. I have all three types. I like spring because you don't have to buy gas. And I like spring better than electric because you don't have to keep charging it after every couple matches. Just my... Hey, let me see if I can get it. Line down the scope here. You want to take the scope rings off? Yeah. Please. Let me see if I can get a line down the scope. You might not be able to. The thing is really, not, but really focused in. I'll see if I can. Maybe. Maybe not. I think the scope didn't about the PR. Nah, it? it's not going to work. Yeah. Okay, anyways. That's that. Um, The pistol. How to get the, uh, the gas in there. They put this more on, like, authentic, more than just, like, helpful to get out the green gas and go ahead and put it in. What you need to do, if you don't have a little pin or anything, you push that little, that little, uh, thing down right there. That little button-looking thing. It's a little button right there. There you yeah. go, see it? Yeah, I see it. Okay, well, um, what you want to do is there's this spring right here, dual, like, there's, there's, it goes down right here and then up here, too. This is really hard to do. You have to push this down and then slide it off at the same time. And then it's when you slide it, they've made it where the, it only comes so far, but you can't get your green gas uh, nozzle to there. So you got to pull it down even more, push it up, push it down even more. And that thing is just... It's annoying. It's tough to get out. A spring is really, really thick, and that's, so that's what it is. Put your green gas in there, and I don't know if this has green gas in it. It does. So, I'm not going to shoot it or anything when my parents are asleep. I'd rather not wake them up at the moment. Yeah, because they'd be mad. They'd be a little Especially pissed. your dad. Your dad would be mad. Yeah, okay. Anyways, I said to do that. And, oh, one of the things with pistol, this thing is really complicated. One other thing you have to do, if you want to take the slot off, which you're going to need to do the first time if you're going to lube it, what you need to do because it comes with no lube, is you have to take the mag out first. I'll probably put a stopper in there. Take a, take the mag out completely. There's the mag. And then there's two little there's two little things right here on the on the sides. Pull both of them down. Rack it back. And then push it forward. And the whole top of the slide will come off. Now, this is the tension spring for the uh for the blowback. What you need to do is you push it forward like this, and it will come straight out. That's the spring. But then the barrel and everything else is in that. That's the barrel and everything. Y'all have seen that. You need to lube up in here, up in the barrel and everything. because it, And even if you put in the metal, you definitely need to lube the metal right there because it won't slide right. But, I mean, it's a great gun. Yeah, and I've, it's pretty I've shot it. It's pretty fun. It leaves pretty good scars on you. I mean, yeah. I would shoot it right up too close with it. I mean, yeah, if you're, gonna, if you're gonna shoot somebody, I mean, be wary. I have a where scar you're... on my hand right there, if you can see that, where this thing sh shot me from about like 10 foot. Yeah, be be this careful. This sucks from a and close distance. With all three of these guns, especially the sniper, be careful how close you are. Yeah, you don't want to shoot the sniper to my close. It will, yeah. it will, it will stick the BB right into them. Yeah, they might end up. If you shoot them in the face, they're done. Yeah, that's gonna suck. Yeah. Okay, anyways. This thing right here, my brother has one that's for Milsim, which is military simulation, where they practice military, like, with their shooting and things. TJ has one, my brother has one of them, and I don't, I can still kick his butt with this gun. Yeah. That, uh, it's got pretty good speed on the fire rate. Fire rate's pretty freaking good on it. I mean, I've never had a problem with it. I gotta show this off, too. Oh, Ryan wants to show my other gun off. I have this 
Uh, it's a pellet gun. Here, you take the camera again. All right. There you go. It's a pellet gun, Desert Eagle. Okay. It's not really all that authentic. It just looks really cool. Yeah. It's double action, so it's trigger, and then you have the racking back of the hammer. Hammer. It has a safety here, so like that. And then the reload is a little annoying. You press down this right here, pull this out. There's this little dial in here, like a revolver. Put the BBs in there, put that dial in there, and push it back. This thing does is, is blow action, but it only comes back that far. Okay. So, yeah, it's got, it runs on CO2. There's a little tool that comes with it you need to unscrew that with. It's a little annoying at times, but, I mean, sure. It's pretty but, heavy, too. It's a... Pretty good little size. It's, a it's not as heavy as my. Gun. It's not as heavy as my Glock. Well, it's about the same. But I mean, the Glock is about natural size for a real Glock. But yeah, it's about deal. it's about the same. They're about yeah. they're really beefy guns. It does. I think it does come with a railing underneath it. But yeah, I just saw it on the dresser and I was like, why don't we just show that in? Just throw it in. Yeah, I got a bunch of those. Anyways. But yeah, that's it, guys. Like, these yeah, are that's... all the guns that I, I I'm gonna play. These are my go-to guns. That I'm gonna play. Yeah, man. Uh, I'll do a review. I don't have very many guns right now because um, yeah, spring action. I had a um, I, I had two guns, two guns, and let me tell you all this story. I had two guns, and uh, it was my birthday party. We had an airsoft birthday party over at the house, so. I had both my guns broke by the same kid, both of them, and I haven't I haven't got enough money to buy another gun. My mom doesn't want to buy one because she's like, all it's going to do is break. I was like, if you buy a good enough one, it's not going to break. But anyway, so that is about it. Um, we might do one on TJ's guns. We might do one of his brother's guns, by the way, um, if you want to see that, so just let us know. And then, um, so that's about it. Uh, shout out to the, you know, bear. Um, that thing, when I first saw it, kind of scared the crap out of me, but anyway, um, <laughs> uh, so we'll see you guys in the next video, turtle, yeah, okay, bye.